Kia ora everyone, my name's Dan Fake. I'm a freshwater scientist at the Hawke's Bay Regional Council. I'm the technical lead for the Porongaho and Southern Catchment. The land in the catchment's boundaries extend from the Maratotara River in the north down to the Porongaho in the south. The land in the catchment is mostly rolling to steep hill country, which is mostly used for sheep and beef farming with a little bit of forestry as well. It's quite a dry part of the region being so far east, except when you get an easterly weather pattern where it will get most of the region's rainfall. Overall though, for the 2018 to 21 reporting period, the region didn't get a lot of rain, especially in this catchment, we saw that in the river levels. There's two main stream types in the catchment. In the north, the Maratotara and the Wainonaro are spring fed and they drain the limestone country and these run cool and clear. And in the gorgy sections they got quite extensive riparian forests and plants and these plants help shade the stream and keep them cool. Streams further south, like the Mangakuri and Porongaho, on average have less riparian vegetation, a bit more sediment supply and they run a bit hotter, which can be a bit stressful for the fish and bugs living in there. Overall, the biggest two stresses on the waterways are sediment and E. coli. When sediment runs off the land and into the waterways, it can dirty them and make it not so pleasant to look at or swim in, and the fish don't like it much either. And then when it settles out onto the stream and estuary beds, it can smother habitat and interrupt ecosystem form and function. And then when it gets to the coast, it can shade out the algae that lives on the reefs, which is power food, and it's habitat for fish and crayfish and things. Too much E. coli in the waterways is an indicator that there's too much pathogens there that could make people sick, so that gets in the way of people swimming and enjoyment of the waterways as well. Overall, the best way to tackle the sediment and E. coli problem is to keep stock out of the waterways and target critical source areas of erosion. Luckily, the catchment's got some amazing community groups which are keen to tackle these problems already. In the north, the Maratota Tree Trust has done a whole lot of fencing and planting already, and they've got the name to get the whole catchment fenced and planted off from source to sea. Then near Ocean Beach, the Waipuka catchment's had a big push to do some riparian fencing and planting and retiring of gullies. Further south, the newly formed Porongaho catchment group secured a whole bunch of government money to go towards fencing and planting and improving the health of the waterways in the Porongaho catchment. For more information, visit our State of the Environment Monitoring Report at hbrc.govt.nz, hashtag SOE.